tutorial of Shopify Odoo Connector app. In this video, we will learn to install and configure Shopify Odoo Connector app. So let's get started. With this app, the users will be able to synchronize all the product, customers, order fulfillment, payments and much more from Shopify to Odoo. So you just have to visit the apps.shopify.com Click on the Odoo connector to install the app. Now, now when you will click on the Odoo connector, this page will open and you have to click on the get button to install the app. Now once the installation is completed and you have entered your Shopify shop URL in the uh, required area while installing the place, the app will get reflected here in your installed app section. Clicking on which you will be straight away redirected to the app. Now with Shopify Odoo Connector, as we have already mentioned, that you can synchronize your data from Shopify to Odoo. So there are these various sections given here. Configuration, Product Sync, Collection Sync, Customer Sync, Order Sync, Payment Sync, Tax and Currency Sync. So let's get started one by one. We'll visit this configuration section first. In this configuration section, the Shopify Odoo Connector's configuration is divided into two parts, Odoo configuration and set default configuration. Now here in the Odoo configuration section, you have to enter your version of Odoo, your URL, your port number, database, Odoo name, and then username. Once every detail will be entered correctly, the connection status will be fetched automatically, and then you have to click on the save button to proceed. Now. As you can see that there is this security button and you can enter your current password and replace it with a new one in case you want to change your password from this section. Also, there is this thing that uh, in, in case the username is incorrect like this and you will save it, then the there will be this error in this Odoo connection and uh, you will not be logged in. So you have to enter it correctly and then it will be logged in. Configuration saved successfully. Now coming on to the set default configuration. From here you have to set the default category of your Odoo. Select the Odoo warehouse and then you can choose to auto sync the order invoice, shipment, new product, collection and various other settings and click on the save to save the changes that you have made. Now coming back to the next section which is the product map. Here you simply have to click on the synchronize button and all the products which are there on your Shopify product will be getting synced to this app. Now these are the products which are synced now by clicking on the synchronize button. From here you can choose the view per page and uh, the mapping can be done from this section. If you want to delete any product from this app you can delete it from here. And also in case you want to view the detail, you can view it as you can see that the product ID, product name, 
the results, radiance, and the bulk action if you want to perform any, it can be done from here. Now I do not want to perform any bulk action, so I will go back and move on to the next section, which is the collection map. Collection, also known as the category mapping. In this, all the categories, all the collection which you have made on Shopify can be synced from Shopify to Odoo with just a single click on the synchronize now button. As you can see that uh, this collection has been synced. In case you want to delete the collection or perform any bulk action, you can simply do it from here. And moving on to the customer mapping, you can map your customers from this section. You can delete the customers if you want from this app and obviously perform the bulk action. And also that uh, the customer details on the Shopify along with their addresses will be getting synced to the code. So this is a huge benefit of this app that not only the names of the customer but also the address of the customer will be getting synced. Coming on to the order mapping, from this section all the order details on Shopify will be getting synced to the Odoo with this synchronize now button and the order status will also be getting synchronized. For example, you can see that this order is pending, this order is paid, this is pending, cancelled. You want to delete any order, it will be getting deleted only from this app, okay, and not from your original records. Coming on to this payment market. Now, these payment mapping are the things where the manual mappings are done. Now, uh, this section, the Shopify payment methods will be getting manually mapped with the Odoo payment methods. Let's just do how. So here you will choose any payment method like manual payment. You will select the manual payment and then you will sync it with it. And then you will have to map it. Now mapping already exists for this configuration. Yes, the manual mapping of COD has already been done. So this way you can also check the uh, authenticity of the app that it is running absolutely correctly. And this way the manual mapping will be done. Coming on to the tax map. The tax mapping is also manual and you have to uh, map the uh, taxes from Shopify to the Odoo. So now you can select the country from here, the region of the country and then the Odoo tax, whatever you want. And then you have to click on the map now and the tax will be getting mapped. As you can see that there are already a lot of it uh, getting mapped. In case I want to delete this one, I will simply have to click on the yes button of the uh, deletion and it will be deleted successfully. Now currency mapping and the currency is also mapped in the similar manner as you can see that there are various currencies which are already mapped. We will just do another one currency of uh, Shopify to that of Odoo. Let's try mapping it. and. We'll click on the map now. Mapping already exists for this one as well. So these are all the sections where the mapping happens. This was all about our app. In case you have any questions or queries, you can simply view the FAQ section of our app, which is right here. And still, if you feel that you need to connect with us for any of your queries, we are always there. You can always raise your queries at support at the rate Thank you so much and keep watching us.